Hello, science kids. We have now an exciting topic for today, and that is the major organs of the human body. We will be able to identify the major organs of the human body. Describe the main function of the major organs of the body. The human body is composed of different parts that work together to make the body function well. These body parts are called organs. Bones, stomach, heart, kidney, lungs, and brain are examples of organs that play important roles for us to live and survive. Bones help us stand because it supports our body. We cannot breathe without the coordinated functions of our circulatory and respiratory organs. All our organs in our body have equal importance. Can you name all of these organs? Yes, brain, kidney, stomach, lungs, heart, and the musculoskeletal system. Very good. Now let us know their functions. Let's start with the brain. The brain is the busiest organ of the body which controls thoughts, memory, and other organs. It is responsible for acquiring learning and skills like writing, dancing, and even speaking. Our heart. It is located at the center of the chest between your lungs. It pumps blood throughout the body. Our lungs are two stretchy and sponge-like organs found on either side of the chest. It separates oxygen from the air and remove carbon dioxide from the blood. What about our stomach? The stomach, it is a bug-like organ made up of muscles that is found in the upper left part of the abdomen. It helps in the process of digestion of food. The small intestine is a coiled tube about 6 to 7 meters long and it absorbs nutrients from the food. This is where the complete digestion takes place. And after that, the large intestine a tube that is about 1.5 meters long. The waste products of the body pass through the large intestine before they are expelled by the body. Our liver is the biggest digestive organ in the human body. It removes poison from the blood and helps in the digestion of food by releasing a bile. Our kidney is one of the most important organ of the body because it eliminates waste from the blood. It regulates fluid balance, it regulates blood pressure, and regulates red blood cell production. The bladder is a muscular sac in the pelvis just above and behind the pubic bone. It is lined by layers of muscle tissue that stretch to hold urine. The normal capacity of the bladder is 400 to 600 ml. Remember that urine is the liquid waste product of our body that needs to be expelled inside of our body. Our bones are tissues that are made up of mostly collagen, proteins, minerals, and vitamins, and it serves as the supporting framework of the body. The small intestine is a coiled tube about 6 to 7 meters long, and it absorbs nutrients from the food. This is where the complete digestion takes place. And after that, these are the function of muscles. Muscles protect your body. They cover most of your skeleton. It also covers most of the organs inside your body. And it is like a layer of padding. They surround your abdomen, chest, and back and protect your internal organs. These major organs are important to perform all our daily activities because they work together. 
They are like machines helping us to respond to sudden changes in the environment and to interact with other people. How can we take good care of our organs? Eating healthy foods and proper exercise could help us protect our organs from damages. If we do not take good care of our organs, we will experience diseases or sickness that will greatly affect our daily activities. And that for the major organs and their functions. Thank you and happy learning with you, science kids.